I'm in Amsterdam right now. It is busy as all hell. A lot of British tourists. But my whole reason for being here is to go book shopping. I've counted like 10 or 11 really cool bookshops here and I want to try and see them all and show them all to you. So let's go book shopping in Amsterdam. Taking a stroll down the canal on a really, really humid day, but at least it's quieter over here. And I think I'm heading towards a bookshop. Not really sure. Because I'm talking to you. Hello. Yeah, look, I'm on one of them bridges with all the bikes and the canals and all the pretty buildings around me. So, it's Amsterdam, isn't it? Anyway, I think the bookshop's over there on that other bridge. Let's go have a look. Here we are. Found it. This is called the Ricebock Handel Evanar, and it's a travel book shop. I probably pronounced all that wrong, sorry. I think travel books. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, voiceover Will here with some freshly brushed teeth. You're welcome. This is a travel bookshop. Pretty much everything in here is in Dutch, but it's really, really beautiful. And there are random things that are in English, like I saw a copy of Wild Swans by Zhang Chang, which is one of my favorite books in English. Oh, that was my belly, did you hear that? Should probably have some lunch. Anyway, lovely bookshop. All right, next up is the Island Bookshop. I don't know anything about this one, except that it's a little bit outside the center, so it was a bit of a walk and I hope it's worth it. This is one of those bookshops that's just really nice. Everything is scattered, but also organized. And there's a lot of magazines, and you'll see at the American Book Center as well, lots of magazines all in English. There's a magazine culture here, as far as I can tell, that I really, really like. Uh, this is a top 10 section, and there's another one just behind me, which you'll see in a second. It's scattered. Everything is very higgledy-piggledy, but also in a very organized, logical way. And I, I love that kind of setup. English books. It's good, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I've just found a place called the Happy Bookshop, which is just around the corner, but I'm in an alleyway right now next door, and it's full of anti-establishment, protest, art, Banksy-esque stuff. Love to see it. All right, it's Stan Corrector. This is called the Happy Bookie Man. I don't know anything about it. I'm really excited to find out. I think this is going to be a really cozy little nook. This place is really incredible. L just look at it. It's a tiny, tiny little space with random books that you can buy, both in Dutch and in English. The owner will offer you a cup of tea and chat with you. I overheard him tell someone else he does charity work. Just a really incredible person and place. Please visit this if you get a chance to. There's nothing like it. All right, as you can see, this is the Pegasus Bookshop. My wonderful, wonderful friends at the Stanza Bookshop in The Hague told me to come here and check this place out, so let's go in and find out what it's all about. I chatted with the owners while I was here, and what you can see there, those very colourful books, and these ones on the shelf as well, this row of colourful books, this is all their own stuff. They are a publishing house as well as a bookshop, and they specialise in Eastern European literature, translated mostly into Dutch. Incredible. So if you are a lover of Eastern European literature, we're talking anything from Polish to Latvian, Lithuanian, etc., you're going to find it all here. Absolutely amazing. I love specialist bookshops. I'm very grateful to them as a space, and we need more of them, and this is an amazing specialist bookshop. By me is the American Book Center, or ABC. If you've watched my video where I went book shopping in The Hague, I've already talked about one of these because The Hague has one too. But this, I think, is the flagship store. It's a lot, lot bigger. It's three floors. It's got a cafe inside. Let's go have a look. All right, lads, this is the big one. This is an absolutely massive space. It reminds me of foils on Charing Cross Road. These are all English magazines, and just look at them, goes on forever. Postcards, the shelves are massive. They stretch high up towards the ceiling. They go across the staircases. There are books every which way you look. This is one of the most jam-packed, busy, large bookshops I've ever been to. I absolutely love this space. Popular on BookTok makes me laugh. It's basically all Alice Oseman books. And I, I just I just love it. it. It's so sweet and jam-packed with stuff. Look at this. D&D &D stuff, Warhammer stuff, board games, Pokemon cards. Every lovely bit of nerd stuff you can imagine. And then, as I said, there is a lovely cafe space. There are loads and loads of manga and comic books. A huge sci-fi and fantasy section. There's everything you could need here from a massive book space. Everything is new, everything is current. 
This is the kind of place where you take a bunch of birthday money and just go crazy spending hundreds on everything you could possibly want, stock up for a year's worth of reading in a space like this one. I love it to bits. And right in the heart of Amsterdam is a bloody Waterstones, isn't it? It's weird. Weird being in here. Waterstones. We've got a pride section though, so that's good. Look how odd this is. Weird. Glad Brexit didn't fuck this shit up. There you go, proof that this is a Waterstones, but the weirdest thing you're gonna see in a second is British food. This branch of Waterstones has a bunch of British snacks. British food is shit. So, um, buy some jammy Dodgers, I guess. Weird. Okay, so it was basically impossible to film in there because there was customers everywhere, it's really busy and I tried to avoid faces. But it's Waterstones. If you're British, you've been in one. If you're American, imagine seeing a Barnes & Noble in Amsterdam. Is there one? No. Probably not. Just down the road from the Waterstones is the New English Bookstore and they do one of those blind date with a book things. I love that. Even though I'm terrified that if it's a book that sounds like it would appeal to me, probably already read it, and I? Like, what are the chances? The chances are pretty high, aren't they? <laughs> That's such a curmudgeon. Not buying that. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, they got the uh, Chiltern Classics. I got a bunch of them. I got most of them. Actually, no, I got two of them. Anyway. Oh, I'm hot, I'm sweaty. Let's go inside. Okay, sorry to disappoint, but I couldn't actually get any footage from inside the English bookshop without the manager's permission, who wasn't there today. But, I can describe it to you. It was an English bookshop. It was lovely inside, it was brand new, it smelled new, and it was full of brand new fiction and non-fiction. You know, all the latest books, hardbacks and paperbacks in fiction and non-fiction, and it was a perfect size to stock everything that you needed. It was pretty much a perfect bookshop, in terms of its size, in terms of what it stocked, in terms of its aesthetics. It was a beautiful new bookshop, and I really liked it. And I spoke to the most amazing, lovely bookseller in the whole world, and we had a nice chat. Ah, that was nice, that's always nice. Booksellers are the best people. In this building behind me, as you can see here, is a little bookshop called Mendo, which is just a gorgeous space that presents really aesthetically gorgeous books. Photo journals, travel books, street photography books, architecture books, it's really gorgeous. Let's have a look. Now I'm on the other side of the glass, look at that. So this is just a really aesthetic, romantic, beautiful space. The lighting is gorgeous, the decor is amazing, and all the books here are very beautiful. As I said, photo books, travel books, these are not the kinds of things I generally read. They're basically coffee table books with beautiful things to look at inside them. Very aesthetic, I didn't buy anything, I didn't even look at the prices, but you can see by the titles and covers the kinds of things that they sell here. Very sweet, very romantic, a very cool space. Nothing else like it. I don't think I've shown you enough of Amsterdam, have I? Well, since I'm standing on a really cool mechanical bridge right now, let's just have a look around. Behind me is a cafe full of people eating and drinking. There's some water. You see, Amsterdam loves water. I don't know if water loves Amsterdam, but anyway. And then, if I cross the street, bike, across this street is more water. Amsterdam and water like tea and coffee. <sighs> really bad at these. Some people eating on a boat down there. It's good enough. So how are you? No way. That doesn't work does it? Anyway let me know if you're alright. Drink water it's hot. Not this water, but I'm gonna go. Walking through Amsterdam, looking at all the nice people, nice places, friendly people, it's a really nice town. I can't sing, but um, sang anyway. Okay, the penultimate stop on our tour is just called The Book Exchange, and it is a used English bookshop. Let's take a look. This is the kind of bookshop that people romanticise, and for very good reason. Just look at it. It's an incredibly raw space. Uh, the owner said it's been open since the late 70s. Really cool. I, I was so impressed with just how rough and raw everything is. Creaking stairs, harsh lighting, books scattered everywhere. There are four floors, there are two basements, and here's me trying to decide which way to go. 
it's everything everywhere is the kind of place that you could really find some amazing hidden gems and it's all in English. Really, really amazing space. And it's just got that raw punk aesthetic to it where they're just throwing things out, but it's all alphabetized. There is method to the madness and it just looks and smells and feels amazing to explore this kind of cave of wonders of literature in all different sections. I was amazed by the breadth and scale and random stuff that I found here. I love it. I love spaces like this. Look at all these comics. Really amazing comics to find. Just, ah, I love it. It's great. Something I really liked about the book exchange was that it creaked. I like when bookshops creak. This last bookshop is down a creepy alleyway. So um, if this never gets turned into a video and this footage gets found, uh, just let people know that I had a really nice time in Amsterdam before I died. Okay, I survived the alleyway and I was rewarded with the big tower. Look at this, look at this cup, look at... <laughs> you should see what I look like right now. Look at this big tower, it's big tower. Uh, you can climb it, apparently, so the sign says. But I'm not gonna, because I'm hunting for bookshops. What the fuck am I doing? This is the last bookshop on the tour, I think. And it is appropriately and epically named Pantheon. Again, don't know anything about it. Didn't do any research. I just get on trains and go places. So let's have a look at Pantheon. And if I don't see you again, subscribe for books. There's not a huge amount to say about this one, it's just a really solid, lovely bookshop and the English section all has brand new stuff, as you can see. At the time of recording, these are the newest, most talked about books and I was really, really happy to see them there. So if you want brand new English books, there's a lovely section here and the rest of it is also really sweet. Subscribe for books, again.